So the project in front of me here, and the client wants to fade it in in the beginning and fade it out at the end. Let's hear it right now. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrow. So let's start with the fade in. We're going to fade it in right up to the vocal. Let's zoom in. Let's go up here to the view menu and view the master track. So the other tracks are flowing through this track. As we can see, if I mute it, we don't hear our track. So we can fade in the volume on this track to create a fade in. Let's select it, type V, and that creates a volume envelope on the master track. So I want it to fade in fully right around bar four. So hold the shift key and click right here, and that puts a point at bar four. Then we'll put another point at bar one at the beginning and bring it all the way down like this. If we go back, we can see there's a point right here, which you can delete. Hold on the PC, option on the Mac, and click it, and it deletes that point, so it'll fade in from zero, like this. Here's to the good days. But it starts a bit too quiet. So let's select this point again, and to move that point only on one axis, in this case, up and down, we could hold down Control Shift on the PC or Command Shift on the Mac. Hold that down and drag it up, and it just moves up and down. And let's try it at about minus 35 dB. So it'll start off a bit louder on our fade. But the fade in still feels a bit linear. So we can right click over here and change the point shape from linear to be fast start, which sounds like this. Here's to the good days. That feels pretty good. Or we could try fast end, which goes faster at the end. But that's still too quiet in the beginning. Or we could choose slow start and slow end, which starts off slow, goes linear, and then slow at the end. Yeah. But if you really want to customize it, we could hold down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just drag anywhere in the middle, and that allows us to create a custom curve. So we could bring it up like this or down like this to any curve we want. And we could hear it in real time. Yeah. Here's to the good days. That feels pretty good right there, where it starts a bit louder, but fades in pretty quick and slower at the end. Days. That sounds good right there. Let's zoom out to the whole song, go towards the end, and let's create a fade out. Now I created after chorus three, I looped or duplicated one of the earlier choruses to run through chorus 3B and 3C. So let's hear it from our breakdown going into the last choruses. So right over here on chorus 3B is where I copied and pasted it to loop it to the end. So right around here, I want to fade out the song. So once again, hold on shift, create a point right here, 
Now, usually when I fade out, I do it based on a length of the fade. Somewhere between 25 seconds and 30 seconds. And we can measure this by creating a new track. Let's add an item right around here. Right click it, go to item properties and change the length of the item to be the length of the fade we want. I'll try 25 seconds. Now this item is 25 seconds long. So I can hold on the shift key and double click. And that creates a time selection exactly 25 seconds long. So now I can delete this track and use the time selection to create a point over here. Hold on shift. It puts that point right over here. Now we can get rid of our time selection by hitting escape. And let's use control shift on the PC, command shift on the Mac to constrain on one axis. Let's bring it all the way down. So now we have a fade out perfectly linear from this chorus on. Let's hear it. But again, the fade is perfectly linear, which doesn't sound great for a fade out. And it's also starting a bit late. I tend to start fading before the last chorus. So let's select both points. We'll move it over one bar. Now the fade starts a bit earlier. We can right click, change the point shape. Let's try slow start and slow end, which should sound more natural. Before we make this even That sounds pretty natural, but again, it's still fading a bit quick in the beginning. To make it slower, hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and create a custom shape. Let's go somewhere around here, and let's hear that. Before we make this evil one. And again, we could hear it on the fly as we adjust it. Before we make this evil one. That sounds pretty good right there, but to check it, sometimes I'll ride the fader so you get a better feel of the fade out I want. Let's open the mixer. Here's our master track. Let's change it to touch. Let's try to ride this at least for the first few bars to see how the fade should feel and we can check it against our curve. Before we make this evil one, it's gonna hurt even. Somewhere about there. And we can see it over here before we had this. And now we have this, which is pretty close to the same thing before and after. Notice the course is right around here. So we can adjust that to match like this. Now, this is smoother than what I played, but it's basically what I meant to perform. So let's hear the fade out now. Before we make this evil one. Sounds pretty good to me. So that's pretty much it. That's fading in and fading out a mix in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Bingo, boys, let's go.